Do you know your state's marketing rules for doctors in terms of personal injury? Do you know the things that can get you in hot water? Do you know the things that can cause insurance companies to say, hey, if this guy's doing that and we don't like that and that's against the rules and against the law, what else is he doing? What else is he doing that we can maybe audit him or her, take a peek under their, you know, take a peek at what they're doing and maybe we'll find some more red flags, okay? So do you know the rules and regulations about personal injury marketing? So I'll give you a couple here. I want you to stay away from these things because these will get you in trouble. I know because I did it. The first one is uh, back when I had a med spa, we were doing laser and tattoo removal. I was doing radio ads and in those radio ads, I was uh, talking to somebody, uh, the person that was kind of having a conversation with me and she was calling me Dr. Mark. Dr. Mark, tell me about this. Dr. Mark, tell me about your laser hair removal specials. Dr. Mark. Okay, because I'm a chiropractor and that's marketing to the public, the state of Georgia has rules that says if you're marketing yourself and you're using the term or even in, in, in a written ad doctor, you have to have DC, chiropractic, chiropractor or chiropractic physician. So in a radio ad, she would have to say, hey, Dr. Mark, chiropractic physician or hey, Dr. Mark, DC. It didn't really make sense in a radio ad doesn't really matter. I believe one of my competitors turned me in. They hauled my butt down to Macon in front of the chiropractic board. I got a huge fine and my license got uh, not suspended. I was on probation for a year, which means I had to be a really good boy and not do that. I had to make a promise. Oh, I'm so sorry. I won't do that anymore. So when you're marketing to the public and you're calling yourself doctor, but you're a chiropractor, you have to say DC, chiropractor, or chiropractic physician in those ads. That'll save you some fines, uh, time. I had to spend the night in a hotel because my hearing was at eight in the morning in Macon. I don't live in Macon, Georgia, but that's where the board, chiropractic board was. So that's one thing that can get you in trouble in your marketing. Uh, if you're a chiropractor, you need to say DC, chiropractor, or chiropractic physician. You just can't leave it. Dr. Mark Slater welcomes you to you know, invite you to come to the practice or in your public marketing, those are the rules. Uh, okay, so that was a radio ad. She called me Dr. Mark. I got in big trouble. Okay, secondly, I see uh, <clears throat> some descriptions of doctors on, <clears throat> on LinkedIn, Facebook, and what I see is that they're saying things like expert in personal injury specializing in personal injury care. Words like expert and specialize in can get you in big trouble. Because if you're in a deposition, that attorney's gonna pull up that LinkedIn page and say, Dr. Slater, tell me specifically how you are an expert in personal injury. Or tell me specifically how you're a specialist in personal injury care. Now you can say you're an expert witness if you have the credentials to back that up. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying I'm an expert in personal injury marketing. That's gonna come up in deposition and you're gonna to have to explain that. What's the standard? Uh, how do I know the guy down the street is just as much of an expert as you? So it's a problematic term that can haul you down into the state board or embarrass you at a deposition. Uh, defense attorneys can chew you up if you put specialist, expert in, in your public facing social media pages, Facebook pages, uh, or anywhere in your marketing. So be careful with terms like expert specialist. Instead, use a term like focus on personal injury with a focus on motor vehicle accidents. You can focus on anything you want. There's no standard of uh, a focus. You know, you don't focus 30%, 90%. You get what I'm saying. So if that's in your social media uh, or any paperwork that you're disseminating to the public, if a defense attorney gets their hands on that, they're gonna use it in a deposition. And are you prepared to defend that? Most people aren't. So stay away from terms like expert, specialist, uh, and use words like focus instead. So uh, again, heavily uh, financial penalties. You can be put on probation. Uh, they can even take your license away um, if you do that. So let's not do that. <laughs> All right. 
So I wanted to share some of the things that can keep you in the clear uh, in your personal injury marketing, uh, terms to use, terms not to use, especially if you're a chiropractor, because what happened to me is a physician turned me in. Uh, it was the med spa business. I, was, I wasn't I was stealing his patients, but uh, I got myself into the market with four locations and started taking market share away from that doctor. So he fired a shot across my bow, uh, the chiropractic board got involved, probation for a year, big fine, not good for Slater. I learned a hard lesson and I wanna tell you that lesson so you don't make uh, the exact same uh, mistake. So um, that's what I wanted to say to help you keep your side of the street clean in terms of your personal injury marketing. Uh, so if you want to hear more or, you want to, or you're interested in becoming a client in my program where I'll help you hire, train, coach, optimize and track a dedicated personal injury marketing liaison, uh, you can just type the word rules beneath this video and, and I'll help you out. Uh, we'll get on a phone call and um, we can talk about working together to help you bring more personal injury patient referrals. I don't care if you're at 10, 20, 50 a month right now, we can 2X, 3X, 3X those referrals without you spending $1 on paid ads. So I appreciate you watching this video today. Please like and subscribe uh, to my videos. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. I produce a long form uh, video to help you in your personal injury marketing every week. I'm Mark Slater with Prime Spine Consulting.